Ask me no reason why I love you. For though love use reason for his precision, he admits him not for his counsellor. You are not young. <laughs> no more am I. Go to them, their sympathy. You are merry. So am I. Ha ha. And there's more sympathy. You love sack. And so do I. Would you desire better sympathy? Let it suffice thee, Mistress Page, at the least if the love of a soldier can suffice, that I love thee. I will not say pity me, tis not a soldier-like phrase, but I say love me. By me, thine own true knight, by day or night or any kind of light, with all his might, for thee to fight. John Falstaff, what a hair of jury is this? Oh, wicked, wicked world, one that is well nigh worn to pieces with age, to show himself a young gallant. What unweighed behaviour has his Flemish drunkard picked for my conversation, that he dares in this manner of saying me? Why, he has not been thrice in my company. What should I say to him? I was then frugal in my mirth, heaven forgive me. Why, I'll exhibit the bill in the Parliament for the putting down of men. How shall I be revenged on him? For revenge I will be, as sure as his guts are made of puddings. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Mr. Cage, trust me, I was coming to your house. Oh, trust me, I was coming to you. You look very ill. Nay, hey, I'll never believe that. I have to show to the contrary. Well, to my mind, you do. Well, I do then, yet I say I could show you to the contrary. Oh, Mistress Page, give me some counsel. What's the matter, woman? If it were not for one trifling respect, I could come to such honour. Hang the trifle, take the honour. What's the matter, woman? Dispense with trifles. What is it? If I would go to hell for one eternal moment or so, I could be knighted. What? Thou liest, Sir Alice Ford. These knights will hack, and so thou shouldst not alter the article of thy gentry. We burn daylight. Hear, read, read, perceive how I might be knighted. Oh, I shall think the worst of fat men, as long as I have an eye to make difference of man's liking. And yet, you would not swear. Praised women's modesty and gave such orderly and well behaved reproof to our uncomeliness that I would have sworn his disposition would have gone to the truth of his words. Yet his words do no more adhere or take place together than the hundred psalms of the tombs of green sleeves. <laughs> what tempers through this whale with so many tons of oil in his belly? A sure haired Windsor. <sighs> Did you ever hear the like? Letter for letter. But that the name of page and fault differs. Ah, to thy great comfort in this mystery of her opinions, I shall be the twin brother of thy letter. I warrant he has a thousand of these letters, writ with blank spaces for different names. Oh, I'm sure more. And these are of the second edition. Oh, he will print them out of doubt, for he cares not what he puts into the press when he would put us to. I'd rather be a giantess lying under Mount Pelion. Well, I will find you twenty mysterious charges ere one chaste man. Why, this is the same, the very same, mm -hmm. and the very hand, the very words. What doth he think of us? Oh, then, may I know not. It makes me almost ready to wrangle with my own honesty. I entertain myself like one I'm not acquainted with all, for sure. Unless he knows some strain in me that I know not myself, he would never have boarded me in this fury. Boarding, call you it? I'll be sure to give him a buff deck. Oh, so will I. If he come under my hatches, I'll never to see again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be revenged on him. Let's appoint him a meeting, show him some comfort in his suit, and lead him on with a fine bait of play until he has pawned his horses to my host of the guard. Nay, I'll consent to any act of villainy against him, but that does not sully the chariness of our honesty. Oh, my husband saw this letter. 
will be eternal food to his jealousy. Why, here he comes, and my good man too. He's as far from jealousy as I am from giving him cause, and that I hope, and that's an unmeasurable distance. <laughs> you are the happier woman. Let's consult together against this crazy nut. Come hither. 